Oh, all right, stretch it out. Feeling good. Let's go. Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Heatus franchise. Here in year number three, last episode, we had an exciting shootout with the Nemesis, and we rallied back to within a run, but once again, we lost. 9-8 the final as we dropped our ninth game of the year to the Nemesis, ensuring our third straight losing season to start the series. Yay. Uh, we're now coming into the last game of the third quarter of the regular season here against our old team, the Buzzards. And once again, we are on the road, which means we're going to Shaka. God, I hate this ballpark. Heaters on the year 2-9. and nine. We'll send uh, veteran Hugs Lavelle to the mound of Southpaw making her first start of the season, her third year here in the league. Just picked her up out of free agency to replace Lumberg four episodes ago. And on the mound for the Buzzards is their third-year veteran, Hannah Hogswind, who has stuck with the team. 0-1 with a 9 ERA and a 1-8-9 whip. Buzzards come in at 5-5, five five, trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. Whereas we're just, you know, trying to play spoilers at this point, because there's no shot of us making the playoffs. Lineup for today's game, leading off in left field is Buster Biggs, followed by Jamie Pollard back at shortstop today. Batting third back at second base is Caleb Golden. Mash Tater's back in the lineup after sitting out last episode. First baseman bats fourth. Batting fifth, third baseman Jesus Gould as he'll slot back over. Batting sixth back in the lineup is catcher Hank Hart as he took a day off to rest last episode, only pinch hitting. Batting seventh, right fielder Dax Jarvis. Batting eighth, rookie center fielder Nolan Lawson coming off his first career home run last episode. And batting ninth is the pitcher Hugs Lavelle. Let's get it on. All right, Buzzards on the air. They're looking pretty good on paper. A uh, lot of speed on the team. Good defense, good contact, good power, good bullpen. The only thing that sucks is their starting pitching. It's almost non-existent. But they've managed to fight themselves to a 5-5 five and five record. More than I could say for us. We've never been a threat of finishing at 500, not since year one. Alrighty, Biggs, Pollard, and Golden will get us started here today as we'll face uh, the Buzzards' third pitcher, Hannah Hogswind. Biggs on the air, 426 average, one homer, six RBIs on the air. Jason Hogswind, Hannah on the air is, uh, what is her record? 0-1, she has a 9 ERA and a 1.89 whip, nine earned runs given up in her two starts, totaling nine innings, so under five innings to start for her. 14 hits surrendered, two homers, three walks, and seven strikeouts with one hit batter. Batting against 359 in the year for Hannah. By far the worst pitcher in their starting rotation. Pass down and away, strike called, 0-1. Change of away, pulled foul by Biggs, 0-2 the count. Fastball put away, line down the left field line, just foul, 0-2. Change of chase in the dirt, strike three, swing in, Biggs down, first punch up for Hogsman, one down. What could go wrong indeed at basically everything? <laughs> Shortstop Jamie Pollard up next, hitting 295, two homers, three RBIs on the air. Heater inside misses, ball one. Heater away is outside, 2 other the count to Pollard. Change of away, ripped hard by Pollard to left field. That is going to go right to the glove of Mercy Ryan. Left fielder makes the catch, 2 down on the liner, and that will bring up Caleb Golden, the second baseman, hitting 364 on the air with 7 RBIs. Heater high, ball one. Fastball down in the way, a sky to right center, giving chase out there and right. It looks like Borgener. Recognize that beard anywhere. Yep, he makes the catch, and that's a 1-2-3 inning. Bottom one, we're scoreless. Whoopity, Godsendez, and Trunk do up first for the Buzzards. There's Sloop Whoopity leading off, third year second baseman. Still the uh, OG second baseman for the Buzzards. Locked in, hitting 313. Three RBIs as he'll face left-hander Hugs Lavelle, making her season debut, the former Wild Pigs hurler in her third season, has been a free agent for the first half of the year, so she is going to be pretty rusty. Uh, after Whoopity, it is former Grappler's first baseman playing third base today, Devin Godsendez. Then it's on fire first baseman Joseph Trunk, uh, the OG all-star of this team outside of Buttons Bunterson. Batting fourth, locked in center fielder OG member Thurman Colt. Batting fifth, left fielder Mercy Ryan. She is tense. Why don't you have Trunk out in left field if he's on fire and Ryan at first base if she's... Ten you know what? Never mind. I'm not getting into semantics. Batting sixth, shortstop Mario Mustachio, another OG member. Batting seventh, OG outfielder Rolf Borgener. He's in right field today. Batting eighth, former Moonstars catcher Boo Lewis. And batting ninth is the pitcher Hannah Hogswind. First pitch fastball at the knees from Lavelle. That's grounded hard to second. Golden dives to his right to make the stop. Nice play to first. One down. Next up is God Sendis, third baseman hitting 227, one homer, two RBIs on the air. First pitch curveball down in the way, low ball one. 
screwball down in the way. Low, two and low. Fastball away. Chop foul, two and one. Slider down and in. Foul off by Godsendus, two and two the count. Change up up and in. Fly down the left field line. That is out of play of Biggs, two and two. Biggs may be fast, but he's not that fast. Fastball, middle of the plate, blew it by Godsendus as he was late reacting. First punch out of the air for Lavelle. Two down, and that'll bring up Joseph Trunk, who is on fire. First baseman hitting 382 with four homers, which is impressive for Shaka and 12 RBIs, as I proved that all through my tenure with the Buzzards. It was very rare to have anybody hit five homers in a season. Curveball outside misses, ball one. So Trunk must be on one. Fastball fouled off, one and one the count. Screwball away. That's chopped the second right at Golden. He'll charge and make the play to first. One, two, three inning for the, the heaters here. As Lobel gets through the first without issue. With the second, we're scoreless. Taters, Gould, and Gohart do up. It's funny how Joseph Trunk produces for the Buzzards in every other series unless I'm controlling them. Leading off Joseph uh, Mash Taters here. Jesus Christ, he's invading my mind now. First baseman sat out last episode to fix his mojo, uh, batting 269 with one homer, three RBIs on the year. Either way, misses, ball one. Cutter up there at the letters, in there, one and one. Curveball bounces in the dirt, two one the count from Hogswind. Cutter high on the check swing, good hold by Taters, three and one. Change been inside is chased and pulled foul, full count now. Fastball middle of the plate, skied by Taters into the left field corner. In the shade is Ryan. Left fielder makes the catch, one down. Jesus Gould up next, third baseman batting 333 on the air with a homer, six RBIs. Facing the now locked in, Hogsman already, interesting. Peter inside misses, ball one. Peter low, two of the count to Jesus. Fastball middle of the plate, line to second, pass the diving whoopity into right field. Base hit for Gould as he's on with one down. Next up, Hank Hart, the catcher. Pinch hit last episode, flew out. Winning 306, two RBIs on the year for Hank. For both the knees, line to right center field. That is going to hang up, though, for Colt to make the catch. Two down. And that is going to bring up Dax Jarvis, the right fielder, hitting 275. Four RBIs on the year for him. Three hits last episode for Dax. Fastball low, ball one. Peter away, strike called, 1-1. One one. Blew it down the middle by him, 1-2. and two. Change of chased outside, strike three. Second punch out for Hogsman, and that ends the inning. Bottom two were scoreless. Colt, Ryan, and Mustachio due up against Lavelle. Leading off, locked in center fielder Thurman Colt, hitting 276. Three homers, and all of them have been solo shots. He has three RBIs on the year. Curveball away, chased outside, bad pitch to swing at, 0-1. Screwball inside, check swing inside, 1-1. One one. We're seeing the middle plate, check swing strike, 1-2 and two the count. Change up down and away, chopped at the middle, Golden watches it trickle into center field that has base hit for Thurman, first hit today for the Buzzards, lead off man on in the second. Mercy Ryan up next, left fielder's tense, hitting 290 with a solo homer to this year. One RBI as well. Slider hangs. Fouled off, thankfully. 0-1-1. Forcing me down and in is inside. 1-1. One one. Screwball away. Line to right field. Hit pretty well. Jarvis retreating. Makes the catch on the liner. One out. Play by Dax. Nice speed there from him. Hard at first for Mustachio. Shortstop hitting 303 with a homer and four RBIs. Or seamer down in the way, outside, ball one. Change up down and in, strike called on the check, one and one. Slider up and away, check swing strike called, one and two, the count. For ball up and in, blooper to right field oh, over the leaping golden that is down for a hit, first and second now with one down. Borgner up next, right fielder hitting 174 on the season. No surprise there. That's normally what Rolf did when we played as the Buzzards. One homer, three RBIs on the year. Orsimer up and away in the first pitch. Blew it by him, own one. 
ball down and in. Runners go. Throw to third. Late from Hart. Everybody's safe. Steals there for Colt, and I believe... Who the fuck was that? I'm trying to figure out who that was. Colt Mustachio, that's right. Colt's second of the year. He's two for three. And Mustachio's second. He's two for two. One on the count here to Borgener. Change up away. Line up the middle. Pass the diving Pollard. Left center. That's through for a hit. Austin gets it in quickly, but it is going to be a two-run single. It is two-nothing buzzards as Borgner drives in two. Boo Lewis up next. Catcher hitting a buck 94 with a homer. Five RBIs as LaBelle is tense. Fastball up and in. Line to first. Taters dives. Makes the nice catch and then misses the tag on Borgner. Two down. Runner still at first for Hogs when the pitcher who is locked in hitting 333 on the year. Screwball middle of the plate. That is ripped by Hogsman to left field. Hit well. Biggs giving chase into the corner. Makes the catch on the warning track, and that ends the inning. To the third, it is 2-0 buzzers. Lawson, Lavelle, and Biggs do up. Trying to answer back here. Lawson leading off. Center fielder hitting 361 with a homer. Three RBIs on the air. Peter up and in. Strike called him and one. Lawson hit his first career home run last episode. It was only hit. It went one for five. He's <coughs> behind 0-2 in the count. Fastball chased inside, strike three. Third punch out already for Hogswind here. One down now to bring up the pitcher, Lavelle. First bat of the year for Hugs. Fastball up, bloop to left center, and that is a base hit as Lavelle gets her first hit of the season. In her first at bat, she's on with one down in the inning. Brings a bigs so over one. Fastball to knees, ripped hard to right field, and Biggs has his first hit. He's one for two. Two on, one down. Here's Pollard, 0 for 1 with the fly out. But the left center is first time up. Peter inside, misses, ball one. Curveball down and in, misses inside, 2 0 the count. Fastball up, check swing, strike called, 2 and 1. Change bit the knees, pulled foul, 2 and 2. Fastball down on the way, driven by Pollard to right center field. That's going to hang up for Colt. Makes catch for the second out of the inning. Lead runner tags the third. Runners at the corners, two down. Next up, Golden, 0 for 1 today with a ground out. Peter in there at the letters, 0 and 1. Hogs been no longer locked in. Cutter away, blooped up the middle. Mustachio makes a soft catch on the liner, and that ends the inning. Bottom three, it's still 2 to nothing. Whoopity, God send is in trunk, due up. There's Whoopity, go for one with the ground out the second, his first time up. Change the way outside, ball one. Seam up and in, strike call on one and one. Slider down and in, blooper to right center field, shallow. Jarvis coming over, he's not going to get there, that is a base hit. Lost in there to cut it off though and prevent extra bases. Lead off man on for Godsend is, for one today with the strikeout. Apparently tense. The ball in there at the knees, foul back, going one. Change it down and in is low and inside, one and one. Fastball down in the way, driven by Godsendis, left center field, hit well. Biggs giving chase to the warning track, runs it. Oh, he watched it drop in front of him because he overran it. Double for Godsendis, two on one, none down here in the inning for the three hitter. Here's Trunk, go for one. Rounded out his first time up. Fastball at the knees, chopper to short, Pollard charges, no play at home, we'll go to first, RBI ground up for Trunk, it's 3-0 buzzards. Except Colt, one for one with a single. Change it down in the way, strike called, 0-1. Screwball down and in, inside, 1-1. Team up and in, foul back, 1-2. and Slider down in the way. Chopped the third. Gould over. Charges. Bare hands to first. In time. Two down. That send us this third on the play, and that'll bring up Ryan. 0 for 1. Fastball way in the first pitch. Strike called. 0 and 1. Screwball down and in. In the dirt. Good block there by Hart. 1 and 1. Screwball down in the way. Line to third. Leaping is Gould over his glove, and that's an RBI dump single for Ryan up the line. It's 4 0. Second run in the inning here for the Buzzards. Here's Mustachio, one for one with a single. Facing now tense, Lavelle. 
Slider down and in. Strike called. 0 and 1. Change bump and away. Check swing outside. 1 and 1. Fastball at the knees. Fouled off. 1 and 2. Screw bump and in. Runner goes. Throw down by Hart. Late. Stolen base for Ryan. <sighs> Mercy's third of the year. She's 3 for 4. 2 2 the count to Mustachio. Fastball down and in. Grounded up the middle. Golden over dives. Knocks it down. Infield single. Runners at the corners. Two down. Next up, Borgner. One form with the two runs single last time up. Well, down and in in the dirt. Good block by Hart. 1 0. Oh. Resumer up and away. Fouled back. 1 and 1. Change it down and away. Check swing outside. Low. 2 and 1. Screw ball up and in. Inside. 3 and 1. First team up and in, inside, ball four. First walk for Lavelle, base is loaded. Two down for Lewis, so for one. Lined out to first last time up. Ball down the way in the first pitch, chopped a short, charging Pollard, a bare hand to first. In time to end the inning as the Buzzards only get two this inning, and we strand the bases loaded to the fourth. We're down four. Four nothing to score. Taters, Gould, and Hart do up. Yeah, this is going well. Mash Taters leading off. Oh, for one to fly out to left his first time up. Facing the locked in Hogswind again. Curve ball at the knees on the first pitch. Sky to left center. And that's going to hang up easily for Colt. One down. Next up, Gould. One for one with a single. Stranded at third. Pass bumping in high. Ball one. Change but the knees. Lined up the middle on the ground. Base hit for Gould. His second hit today. He's two for two. He's locked in. That'll bring up Hank Hart to open one with the fly out. Go out to right center his first time up. Change of low. Ball one. Her ball's away. 2-0. and oh. Change with the knees. Hart ripped past Trunk into right field under his dive. First and second. One down. Eaters have something going now. Let's see if we can deliver on it. Here's Jarvis. So one. Come on, Dax. Give me something. Pass but down and then strike called 0 and 1. Curve ball in the dirt bounces 1 and 1. Pass ball way outside on the cutter 2 and 1. Pass ball way fouled off 2 and 2. Good swing, a little late. Curve ball way line is short right at Mustachio 2 down. Everybody's safe. Next up Lawson 0 for 1. Come on Nolan, let's go Rook. Change up low in the dirt, ball 1. Fastball up and in. Fisted down the left field line. Foul. One and one. That would have got one in. Cutter up and away. Line to short. Leaping Mustachio to rob him of a base hit. It was unnecessary as it was right at him, but that's Mario for you. Bottom four. It's four to nothing. Hogs win. Whoopity and Godsend is due up. Here's Hogsman. No for one today with the fly out to left field. Change bet the knees on the first pitch. Strike called. 0 and one. LaBelle still tense after last inning. You're up and in high, one and one. Screwball down in the dirt, two and one. Screwball down and in, fouled off, two and two. More seamer up and away. Line to first, Taters over, makes the catch, one down. Next up, Whoopity, one for two with a single last time up. Slider down and in, low, ball one. More seamer down and away, check swing strike, one and one. Change up, up and in. Ripped up the line. Left field. Foul. One and two. Screwball down and away. In the dirt. Two and two. Screwball down and in. Inside. Three and two. Change up up. Ripped the right field. Hit pretty well. Jarvis giving chase. Lays out for it. Just out of his reach. And the extra bases for Whoopity. One out double here for Sloop. Now to bring up Godsend as one for two with a double. We're about down and in. Ripped on the ground to second, diving golden to rob him of a hit. He'll fire to first in time. Two down as Whoopity gets the third. Trunk up next, 0 for two with an RBI ground out. Change boy in the first pitch. Popped up in front of the mound. Lavelle off. She's there. And she'll put it away to strand the runner at third. Nothing doing in the inning for the Buzzards. To the fifth, it's 4-0 still. 
Lavelle leads off, followed by Biggs and Pollard. Lavelle leading off, one for one with a single. Peter inside, strike called, and one as Lavelle's back to neutral here. Fastball put in, chopped at the middle. Diving Mustachio behind the bag to make the stop. Fires the first. Just late infield single for Lavelle, who beats it out. Nice running from the pitcher. Second hit today for her. She's two for two. Here's Biggs. One for two with a single last time up. It's also struck out swinging. Last one side is chase line to first. Easy catch for Trunk, and he caught it on the bag. It's an easy double play. <coughs> Unlucky there. Pollard up next, 0 for 2. Fastball away, line to dead center, but it's right at Colt. 1 2 3 inning in the fifth. Halfway home, we're down 4 0. Bottom half of the fifth, Colt and Brian and Mustachio do up. There's Colt, 1 for 2 with a single. There's the curveball in there, ripped down the line, foul on the left field corner, 0 1. Fastball up and in, high, 1 1. Screwball down, fouled off behind the plate. That'll drift out of play. One and two. Slider bit away. Line to short in the hole. Pollard dives over his glove. Base hit for Colt. His second hit today is two for three. He's also already stolen a base. Here's Ryan. One for two with an RBI single and a stolen base. Well down and then runner goes. Strike called. Throw down by Hart. Late second stolen base of the game for Colt. He is three for four now on the season. Two for two today. Fastball away. Driven by Ryan to center field. That is cranked, and it is gone off the wall. Home run for Ryan, her second of the year. It is 6-0. That's her second and third RBIs of the day. Next up, Mustachio, 2-for-2 two two today with two singles. Slider down and in, low, ball one. Fastball way outside, 2-0. and Change it down and in, chop to the mound under Lavelle's glove to Golden. He'll bare hand to first in time, one down. Next up, Borgner, one for one with a single, two runs in, and he walked last time up. Curveball down, driven into the right field corner. That is in the foul, thank God, 0-1. Change up and away is high, 1-1. Fastball low, 2-1. Screwball up, line to short. Pollard there makes the catch, two down. A 70 for Lewis, so for two today. Slider in there, strike called with the letters, 0-1. That's about the knees, lined in the right center. Jarvis over, runs down the liner, that ends the inning. But a two-run bomb from Mercy Ryan gives the Buzzards a now 6-0 lead to the sixth. Our lineup up for the heaters here, Golden Taters and Gould against Hogsman, who's cruising. Golden over for two today, leading off against Hogsman, who's given up six hits today through five innings. Outside missing ball one. Heater inside, 2-0. Fastball middle in, strike called, 2-1. and one. Fastball at the knees, driven by Golden to dead center, but that's going to be run down by Colt for the first out. Taters up next, he's over 2 today. Blown out twice. Change up inside, strike called. Outside ball 1. Fastball middle of the plate, popped up, missed it. Right out to center. There's Colt for an easy second out of the inning. Gould up next, two for two today with two singles. He's locked in as well as Hogsmund. Fastball down the middle line, past her face into center. Third hit today for Gould. He's three for three. Hogsmund down to neutral. Next up, Hart, one for two with a single last time up. Fastball outside, ball one. Change of middle in, turned on by Hart to right center. That's going to hang up for Colt, though, as he'll run it down, and that will end the inning. Uh, bottom six at 6 0. Hogsman, whoopity, and God send it is due up. There's Hogsman, 0 for 2 today, facing Lavelle. Fastball down in the way, low, ball one. Her ball hangs, that's driven to left center field by Hogsman, of all people. Diggs giving chase, watches it one hop to the fence. Out of the extra bases for Hannah. She'll be in with a leadoff double, and that will do it for Lavelle, who goes 5-plus, giving up 11 hits. One walk, 6 earned runs, 11 hits, and uh, 6 earned runs and 1 strikeout. Going to double switch here. Am I, though? Am I really? 
I probably should. Yeah, let's get let's get rid of Taters. He ain't hitting this today either. We're gonna go to Rookie Arena Barnes as we're down six nil. Taters coming on, coming off, and Burnside will uh, come on and play first base. He'll bat third next inning. Rookie Arena Barnes on the year, want to know. She has a 15.75 ERA and a three whip. Seven earned runs given up in four appearances. Four innings pitched. Six, 12 hits surrendered. One strikeout. A homer and 5.45 batting average against. We're already down six nil. I have no worries here. Almost has maxed out uh, accuracy here. Fastball fouled off on the first pitch to Whoopity, 0 and 1. Change up inside, misses, 1 and 1. Double down and in. Chased and chopped the third. Gold charges, bare hands, looks the runner back and fires the first. 1 down. Next up is God Sendas, 1 for 3 with the double today. Slider down and away, low ball 1. Four seamer down and in. Inside, 2 and 0. Change up and away. Outside, 3-0. and Throw ball down and away. Strike called at the knees, 3-1. and one. Slider down. Ground and then a hold of second. Diving is golden to rob him of a hit. Fire to first, two down. Run to the third on the play, and now to bring up Trunk. Go for three with an RBI. Ground out. Four seam ripping in the first pitch. Strike called, 0-1. Change up down and away. In the dirt, 1-1. Slider down and in, chop foul, one and two. Four seamer up and away, chased it, foul back, one and two still. Well down and away, outside, two and two. Change up and in, chased it, popped up to the plate, heart there. Makes the catch to end the inning as we strand the inherited runner to the seventh. We're down six still. Oh yeah. Jarvis, Lawson, and Burnside do up. Oh, no, indeed. Lawai, oh, no, indeed. We just can't seem to score. It's a uh, shock up. Here's Jarvis, over 2 today. Facing the locked in Hogsman now. Fastball on the changeup in the dirt, actually. Ball one. Fastball at the knees, driven to center field, but guess what? It's run down by Colt. One down. That damn thoroughbred out there still hasn't busted a hind leg yet. Next up is Lawson, over 2 today. I'm waiting for him to pull a hammy. Cutter away, strike called, 0 and 1. Fastball bounces, 1 and 1. Fastball away, 2 and 1. Fastball up and away, line to third. And God Sendos robs us of a hit. He can't even fucking field yet. He can make miraculously gold glove plays. Two down, here's Burnside, batting 2 for 4 in the year. First bat of the game for Dimples. Change of down and in, strike called, 0 and 1. Change up down on the way, pulled foul, and two. Fastball away, grounded to third, charging God Sendez. He'll make the play to first, one, two, three inning for Hogsman. She's got seven shutout innings under her belt. Bottom seven, it's six nil. Colt, Ryan, and Mustachio, two up. <coughs> Here's Colt, two for three today with two singles. Fastball away, strike called, and one. Colt's also stolen two bases today. He's two for two. Slider ripped the right on the next pitch, and that's his third hit today. He's three for four. Here's Ryan, two for three today with a three run, two run homer last time up. She's also had an RBI single. Pick off to first. Back safely is Colt. And if you steal up six runs, the AI is just rubbing it in. Curve about the knees on the first pitch. Check swing strike. Going one. We're seeing rubbing away. Fouled back. Going two. Slider away, line to center, that hung in the middle of the plate. That's another hit for Ryan, her third. She's three for four, two on to start the inning in the seventh. Next up, Mustachio, two for three today with two singles. Fastball down and in, line to left, that's another hit. Three back-to-back -back singles to start the inning as the Buzzards have the bases loaded as they look to add on. Here's Bordner, one for two with a two-run single and a walk today. First pitch slider up and in. Strike called, 0 and 1. Go ball down and away. In the dirt, 1 and 1. Force him down and in. Chased it low, 1 and 2. Change up and away, outside, 2 and 2. Force him down and away. Chop at the middle to short. Pollard there, flips the second one. Golden the first. Double play. Run scores though, no RBI to Rolf, 7 0. Here's Lewis, 0 for 3. 
on our third two down. Fastball grounded hard to short, right at Pollard. He'll make the skipping throw to first, and that ends the inning. Another run in for the Buzzards as they extend their lead to seven to the eighth. It's seven nil. Biggs, Pollard, and Golden do up against Hogsman, who is six outs away from a complete game shutout. Something, something she is ironically known for doing against me in any series. Here's Biggs, one for three today with a single. Cut her high in there anyway, 0-1. Get her low at the knees, 0-2. Change of pulled foul, 0-2. Change of hangs, pulled down the line, sky ball to right. Borgner there to make the easy catch, one down. Pollard up next, he's 0-3 for 3 today. Pass bump and in, sky to right on the first pitch. There's Borgner, two down. Gilden up next, 0-3 for 3 today as well. Fastball away, strike called, 0-1. Peter away on the cutter, 1-1. One one. Fastball up, line to right. Base hit for Golden, his first hit today, he's 1 for 4. Next up, Barnes, pinch hitter coming for the pitcher. Coming off the bench to take a crack at it. Hmm... Give it to backup catcher Everett Nash. He's feeling it right now. He's locked in. He had three hits last game. Batting 500. Two RB guys on the year for Everett. Or two hits. Or just three hits. Curve, fastball, and side strike called. Chased high, 0 2. Curveball hangs. Line at the middle. Base hit for Nash. He keeps his hot hitting going. That's his fourth hit here today. First is a pinch hitter. Two on, two down for Gould. Three for three with three singles, and that will do it for Hannah Hogsman as she falls four out shy of a complete game shutout. Uh, it'll be a quality start for her, though, as only the two runners on base are her responsibility. Coming out of the bullpen as part of the double switch here is right-hander Carla Tolbert, the former Moose reliever. And taking over in right field is going to be Daniel Yoshida as Borgner goes to the bench. Surprised they didn't take out Ryan, but then again, she's hitting well, so... Tolbert's numbers on the season. Carla is 1-0. She has a 0 ERA and an 0.75 whip in 6 appearances with 1 save. 8 innings pitched, 4 hits surrendered, 2 walks, 7 strikeouts, and a batting average against a 154. Sounds like I should have signed her over uh, Joanna Heater. Locked in currently. Let's see if Carla can get out of this jam with the in two inherited runners against school. It's 3-for-3 three three today. Uh, change up away, caught the corner, 0-1. Fastball down on the way, hitting the hole to second. Whoopity manages to cut it off before it gets to right field, and he'll throw him out at first to end the inning as we fail to score. Um, hmm. Yes, quite, quite indeed. Uh, we won't sub in Nash as uh, the catchers do up this inning, so uh, we're going to turn it over to uh, Gemma Yago out of the bullpen. Bottom eight, we're down seven. Yoshida, Whoopity, and Godsendas do up. Here's Yoshida hitting 231 on the air as part of the double switch coming on last inning with three RBIs as he'll face righty Gemma Yago. Gemma on the air, no record, a 123 ERA and a 109 whip. One earned run given up in four appearances with one save. Seven in the third innings pitch, six hits surrendered, two walks, three strikeouts, batting average against a 222. Fastball down and in low, ball one. Good ball away, strike caught at the knees, one and one. Better up and in is high, two and one. See me down in the way. Fouled off. Two and two. Came in active here. Cut her middle in. Fouled back by Yoshida. Two and two. Little down in the way. Chopped the middle. Base hit for Yoshida. He's one for one now. Lead off and on in the eighth as the Buzzards look to add more insurance to their seven run lead. There's Whoopity. Two for four. Double and a single today. Cut her down in the way in the first pitch. Low and outside. Ball one. Forcing me down and in. Grounded up the middle. Base hit. Two on, none down to start the inning. Here we go again. Next up is God Sendez. One for four with a double. Come on down and in on the first pitch. Strike called to the knees. 0 and 1. Cut her away. Driven the first. Right at Burnside on the liner. One down. Trunk up next. He is 0 for 3 or 4 today with an RBI ground out. Still locked in though. Forcing me down and in. Strike called. 0 and 1. Her ball down, in the dirt, 1-1. One one. Forcing her away, foul back, 1-2. Came in active here, 
cutter at the knees. Strike three called at the knees. First punch up for Yago. Two down. Next up, Colt. Three for four today with three singles and two stolen bases. He's locked in. Well down in the way. Chop to first, right? A Burnside will charge. Make the play himself at first. That ends the inning as Yago strands two. To the ninth, it's still 7-0. Last chance for the heaters. Hart, Jarvis, and Lawson. Hence Tolbert. Here's Hart, one for three with a single. Godsendez coming out. Just foul coming in at third base as she'll replace the uh, bad fielding Godsendez. Fastball high, strike called. 0 1 as Tolbert still locked in. Fastball down and in line to center. That dips in for Hart, his second today. He's 2 for 4. Good start. Leadoff men on the ninth for the Heaters. Next up is Jarvis, 0 for 3 today, still looking to find his groove. Cutter up, strike at the letters, 0 and 1. Cutter away, bloop to left. It's going to hang up for Ryan. Makes the catch on the basket, one down. Runner still at first. Next up is Lawson, 0 for 3 today for the rookie. Pass ball to knees, chopped to short. Backhanded by Mustachio to second one. Whoopi to the first, late on the fielder's choice. Last chance is Burnside. He's 0 for 1 with the ground out. Pass ball to knees, grounded hard to short right at Mustachio. He'll make the play to first. That ends the game. Heaters get shut out today at Shaka 7 0, as this game just didn't have anything positive for it whatsoever. Thank God this game is over. We're now 2 and 10 on the air. As uh, we had double-digit hits, but we couldn't score because the outfielder in center field can run down anything under the goddamn sun. Uh, God, we suck. Well, at least we got some hits today. Hitless today, though, were Pollard, Taters, uh, Jarvis, and Lawson, as well as Burnside. Uh, no RBIs today. Three hits today for Jesus Gould, though. Two for two day for Hugs Lavelle at the plate. Two for four day for Hank Hart as well. On the other side for the Buzzards, hitless today were uh, Joseph Trunk and Boo Lewis. Two RBIs today for Rolf Bordner on a single. He also drove in another run on a double play ground out, which didn't count. Mercy Ryan had a two-run homer and an RBI single. Uh, Joseph Trunk had an RBI ground out. Lavelle, five innings, 11 hits, six and runs, a homer, one walk, one strikeout. Barnes, two innings out of the pen, three hits and earned run given up. And Yago, an inning, two hits given up with a strikeout. On the other side for her, the Buzzards. Hogs win seven and two-thirds shutout. Quality start, nine hits given up, three strikeouts. She improves to one and one in the year. Tolbert inning in the third, scoreless giving up a hit. Nice hold for her. Player of the game, Mercy Ryan, followed by Hannah Hogsman for her shutout pitching performance, and then Thurman Colt with his three hit and steal two steal day. And once again, we lost. God, we suck. That's now a three-game losing streak for us. Our third different one of them this season. We tried. That is fair. We did try. We just couldn't drive any runs in. All right, let's have a look around the league, see what happened. Pollard, plus two fielding. Nice, up to 98. Pollard also plus two contact to 56. Love to see it. Burnside loses eight contact, though. That's not ideal. Very rare to see that for a 22-year-old. Must be the confidence. Uh, let's see, Keisha Mushara is uh, cut from the Herbicers, replaced by Luis Bolgar as he's signed, and Mindy Marshwater is on to the Wild Pigs as they get rid of Chance Lauderbury. Go ahead and sim up to the next game here. So what's going wrong? Basically everything. <laughs> if it's not starting pitching, it's the offense. If it's not the offense, it's the starting pitching. And then if it's not either of them, it's the bullpen. So really... Nothing fires on all cylinders at the same time. That's the f sad part. And it's not like we're spending too much money anywhere. I mean, the only person making over $10 million is Caleb Golden. And he should be making over $10 million. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's just a confidence thing. Could be an ego thing, too. But we had a lot of good games recently. Odd clunker every now and then. I don't know. Hard to say. Could just be the curse of the heater's past. I don't know. We'll figure it out one day, I'm sure. Watch, I threaten to end the series, and next season they just break out and do everything right for once. That wouldn't surprise me. All right, next episode is our final game against the Grapplers, as that was our final non-divisional contest today. 
Uh, this is our, I believe, second of three on, on the road. Let me check that real quick. It is. Last time we'll see the Grapplers today, this season. I believe we lost the uh, two games earlier this season. We did 9-4 to four and 3-1. to one. And we're facing Perd Lovelorn again, who is 3-0 against us in the series, of course. And Turnburn will be on the mound again. His only loss, I believe, came against the Grapplers. So, 0-1. Oh, oh, no. No, the bullpen lost that game. That's right. His one loss came later in the season. Turnburner 0 1 with a 350 ERA and a 183 whip. And on the mound for the Grapplers, Lovelorn 1 1, 540 ERA and a 127 whip. Grapplers come in at 9 3 atop the division. And we come in at 2 10 as the worst team in the league outside of the Freebooters. Have the Freebooters won anything recently? What's, what's it look like? Nope, they're still 2 8. They haven't played any games, that's why. They're going to have a lot to, in the sim later on, I think. I'm going to get rid of Lavelle. Not like it matters who our four starter is. Whoever it is is just going to go out there and get the shit kicked out of him. I could try the Moonstars. I don't know how they're doing in the series here. I might be open to it. Maybe it's having a pitcher bat. Maybe that's throwing us off. Yeah, maybe we need a DH. Go back to some Slugfest games. I'd like that. I'll keep an eye out for that. Who's going to be our four starter? You know what? Shout out to uh, <laughs> shout out to the big guy. Oh, damn it, I'm going to spend money. Nah, I don't want to spend money. Fuck that. I was going to go Lana Rhymes just to piss off one boy because that'd be funny. <laughs> uh, you know what? If she gets under 3-4, I'll pick her up. I'll do it just to spite him. That'd be funny. <laughs> oh, darn it. One day we'll start winning. One day. It's not one day soon. Let's go ahead and look at player development. Okay. Alright, this is still at 6%, so this will be here. Oh, that's a good one for Gould. It's not going to be here, though. Damn it. Decent one for Balfour, but there's no guarantee. Tats ain't going to be on the team next year. I can already tell you that. Yago is a maybe. She's been pitching really well, surprisingly. If I had a choice between her and Barnes right now, although Barnes is younger, Yago's pitching much better, so I would pick Yago in a heartbeat. Uh, this one for Hart's a good one. We'll save that for next time because it's only, uh, it'll be, it doesn't start expiring until next episode. Right now, we get these two for Yago and Slaps, and we'll move on with our day. Because uh, we're not going to be able to get this one for Gould. It's not going to be here, unfortunately. And this is still too out of chance at Whiffer, so. Yago and then Slaps here. Yago gets two velocity, up to 54, one junk to 38. Nice pitching there, Gemma. And slaps. Let's see if we can get him that trait. Gets the big power roll. That's five. All right. Nice. Up to 55. One contact. 42. Oh, only the one speed. That's all right. 52. Come on. Damn it. No trait. Still trying, though. Raffy getting better. Getting close to that B minus tier. All right. Let's see what the lineup is, and we'll call it a day. Alrighty, leading off, Hank Hart at catcher, Gould at third, locked in, Golden at second, Taters at first, Biggs in left, Pollard at short, Jarvis in right, Lawson in center, and Turnburner on the mound. Same nine guys, just a little bit different order, trying to shake things up to try and score some runs. Hopefully we can do so. Alrighty, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. A shutout loss to the Buzzards today, 7-0, as I continue my hatred of that Shaka sports turf, and Thurman Cold is just an absolute asshole, running down every ball hit his way. Um, so another loss for now. Uh, Double-digit losses for the second straight year in a row, and our third straight losing season has been confirmed. Only four games left to play. May or may not make them double headers. We'll see how I feel. Uh, we might uh, end up just making them two large episodes to end the season because at this point we kind of need the season to end. It is dragging on, and there's not much left to play for at this point other than to not be the worst team in the league for the second straight year. Hopefully we can turn it, avoid that, but we'll see. If you made it this deep in the video, guys, thanks for sticking around despite the dismal showing today. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the follow button down below here on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already on YouTube, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, link to Twitch down in the description below, and I will catch everybody in the next episode. Until then, guys, this is The Nasty One, signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, wherever you guys are.